review video yes I know we've been doing a lot of review videos um, but I think this might be the last one uh, or last one for uh, a long time and then we should be back to our regularly scheduled program of uh, stupid videos uh, but for this video we're going over the uh, air tag uh, if you guys don't know what the air tag is and uh, have been living under a rock it's a small tracking thing and I'll put it up right now on the screen a small little tracking thing that's the size of a quarter and uh, it's pretty useful, especially if you have a motorcycle, a bike, a wallet, doesn't matter, but in this case, a Suron, and uh, you're trying to track it uh, in case it gets stolen. So uh, let's go ahead and hop on the bike and I'll talk more about it. So, the air tag. What is the air tag? Well, if you've been living under a rock, uh, about one to two years ago, Apple released the air tag. Uh, which is like, like I said, a miniature quarter sized, pull it up on the screen again, uh, tracking device that Apple made. Uh, and it's a pretty good thing or a pretty good device. And I actually bought it not like two days ago for making this video. Uh, I've yet to install it onto my bike um, because, you know, school, work and other things. But, um, but yes, when installed. It's going to be installed in a secret area um, where I will not say so in case anybody's watching this video and, decide, and sees my bike on the streets and decides to steal it, they don't know where the tracker is. But you're pretty much able to fit it wherever you want. Uh, it's quarter sized, it's pretty small, doesn't take up that much space. So you can fit it pretty much anywhere. Um, and the reason I'm making this video is because there's a lot of people who own e-bikes who are buying these expensive $120 like, you know, trackers that you have to pay yearly subscriptions for, monthly subscriptions, on top of like the price you already pay, which is like $120. And it's like, all right, I get it. It's real time tracking sometimes. And like, you know, sure, maybe uh, it's, it's a bit better than an AirTag, you know, I guess in some ways. But like for $100 plus, and then, uh, and then the monthly or yearly subscription you have to pay for it because it is like a mo it has like a mobile uh, SIM card in it, so you could track the thing. Um, it's really not worth it. And I know uh, Saronster made a video on it uh, for a decent time ago, and I I don't know if he uses it, but uh, I don't know, I just didn't want to pay for it. You know, 110 dollars or whatever, 100 plus dollars for something that you know. I'm going to have to pay a monthly yearly subscription for and while well, I could just get an air tag which is 30 bucks by the way uh, if you get one of them or uh, if you get four of them I think it's 90 or 80 something like that but uh, if you get one of them and you just go ahead and throw it in somewhere you know you throw it somewhere in your bike say on your Super Sony 3 you could throw it under somewhere or your Suron or your Onyx you just throw it in there it lasts for a year uh, you don't have to think about it for a year and it's it's all access through your phone if you have an iphone just pull up your iphone look into your um devices and it's right there you know what i mean it's it's pretty simple it's pretty easy uh and i don't see why i don't see why other people don't do the same thing um now how does it work and is it good uh so let me pull over and show that real quick all right so Right now the air tag is in my bag, obviously. But say the air tag was in my Suron, right? Let me go ahead and pull up find my app. And here you go. Suron. Right there. You can see it right there. And where it's at. Of course the bag's on me, so it's not gonna show you much. But if it was in the bike and I started walking away, uh, I might be able to demonstrate that right now. Uh, let me see if I could take this off real quick. Oh, ah, whatever. Can't take the bag off. But if I started walking away, all right, I start walking away. One thing that the uh, one thing that this um, the air tag has is if you start walking away and say my tag was still in the bike, my phone would ring to me that I'm leaving my bike behind. 
which is a good feature for I don't know maybe someone who forgets their bike uh, but it's also a good feature if uh, you want to stay in range of your bike and I think it's uh, I don't know how many feet it is away but I, it's a good distance I think it's like a block uh, when I was looking at it when I was at my uh, house it was like a block away so you know if you get a block away from your bike and you lose connection with it it lets you know uh, you know if you want to stay closer to your bike then you stay closer to your bike uh, also um how does the tracking work which uh not a lot of people understand but how it works is you have your phone right you have your phone say your bike gets stolen correct you know you get bike you get stolen you go on find uh find my iphone or whatever you go to your Suron, uh and you go the lost mode and you press enable uh when you press enable on lost mode what it does is it starts tracking your bike as if it's lost uh it starts tracking your bike as it's gone right so it got stolen it's gone let's say you can't find it you put it into uh you put it into lost mode and now it's searching for your bike now how does that work so pretty much say uh you're the guy who stole your bike's riding on the street right you're in the big city uh he's riding through somewhere and what happens is the air tag since it has a block radius sends out pings and it sends out pings to other people's iPhones. So say the person who robbed your bike is on the street. There's someone walking on the sidewalk as their people are right there. Or someone cycling right there or in the car. It's going to send a ping to their phone. And then with that, it's going to ping it back. And that ping it back. So now it's connected to the phone. And that phone is going to send a ping to you. Or to your phone. And you're going to see where your bike last was from that ping. Now, what makes this even better is most people have iPhones. Right? And say the person who robbed your bike has an iPhone. Now what happens? Oh, it's a constant ping. And it's pretty much a constant tracking device for where your bike is. And oh, what happens? You find the person, you beat the shit out of him or something, call the cops, and you got your bike back. Easy peasy. Now, say they have an Android, you're kind of scuffed there. But, you know, we hope... Uh, of course, this works better in a big city where there's a lot of people. Uh, but you hope that the person... Uh, has an iPhone or there's people around who have iPhones and they're able to ping with your air tag and send it back to you That's pretty much it now also on the app it tells you how much battery you have left and you can play sound uh, Which is also pretty cool, but let's close that Let's get back on the bike. Yeah, that's how the loss function works. That's how it tracks your thing and oh shit <laughs> My bike got stuck, but we're good But yeah, that's how it tracks your bike. So it sends pings to other phones, to other iPhones, and those iPhones send pings to your phone, and you get a location of where it is. Now, there's also another function, which my iPhone doesn't have because I have an iPhone XS Max. But if you have an iPhone 11 and up, uh, they have AR mode, uh, which is all, all alternate reality or some shit like that, whatever. Augmented reality? Yeah, there you go. Um, and how that works is, say you have an air tag, it's linked to your phone, of course, and someone yoinks your uh, Suron, right? Takes your Suron, steals your Suron, oh my god, what am I going to do? Um, what you're going to be able to do now is you track the bike, of course, you get close to the bike, and the location on air tag isn't always precise, uh, so that's where the iPhone 11 and up uh, function comes in. Uh, you turn on AR mode. And if you are in the radius of the circle, you are able to track your uh, specific location of your air tag. So you open up the air arm mode, you look around and you find the little pinpoint. And slowly but surely, the closer you walk, the more accurate it will get. And then, you know, of course, you'll see where your air tag is. You'll see your bike and you come up to it and you take it back. Simple. So that's pretty much how the air tag works. And it's great. It's honestly great to have. Like, it's, I don't understand why more people don't use this. Of course, it's not the best tracking device. So, you know, say you want something, you know, really good. You get the Suronster $100 plus monthly yearly subscription shit. You could get that, right? If you want something amazing for your bike. But if you, you know, if you're sure your bike's not going to get stolen, you have an alarm system on it. You know, if someone moves it, it, it goes crazy. And you want a, another layer of protection over like a lock, a alarm, and plus your bike being off, uh, 
you get an air tag, right? You put that shit into somewhere secure, somewhere where people won't find it, uh, and you're set. You're set. Your bike is secure. Someone goes through your chain, goes through your alarm, steals it. You always have the air tag to track it back down. So that is why I got the air tag, and that is why I have to install it this weekend. Um, and that is why I will install it, and I will have it on my bike. So that's pretty much it. That's the whole review for the air tag uh, when it comes to the Suron. Uh, and I really recommend it for anyone, not even Surons, but you know, motorcycles, like regular motorcycles, Super 73s, because Super 73s are dog shit. Like when it comes to like uh, security, they don't have keys, they have a button to press. So, you know, someone could really yoink their bike. Um, but yeah, you know, Supers, Onyxes, Surons, whatever you have, AirTag is amazing and I really recommend it. You know, I'm not sponsored anything, of course. I don't think Apple would ever sponsor anyone when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, I do really recommend it. And I think it's a great product to have as extra case of security, you know. And that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, I hope this video is somewhat helpful. Uh, once again, it was just a quick review video. Nothing much. Um, and that's all. And that is all. Let me uh, go ahead and go here to this Verrazano Bridge. All right. So that was the video about the AirTag uh, tracking device. And I hope you guys enjoyed. That was the video. Next video should be interesting again. No more review videos. At least I don't think so. Back to doing wheelies and stupid stuff. And yeah. We will see you guys or I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.